Thank you, Vince. It's official. The Pentagon says women can fight on the front lines. But a lot of local women who served in the military say, you know, that's really nothing new. The recognition, however, well, that is new. Justin Williams explains what that means. Hoorah. Linda Danker shares her reaction to word that outgoing U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta has repealed the ban which prevented female service members from officially participating in combat. We weren't allowed to go overseas at that time. Only the nurses were. Danker is a Marine veteran of the Vietnam War. She says during her service, female service members were told they were more important to the effort here at home. She explains the policy prevented a lot of skilled members of our military from having their skills fully utilized, adding the move is long overdue. There are a lot of good, intelligent women out there. It's just, how do I put it, the male ego <laughs> doesn't want to admit that women can handle that duty. I feel it's kind of, kind of sexist to say, oh, well, that's a woman. Like, she's not as good as a man. Heather Antonevich is the director of Dry Hooch, a Milwaukee-based veterans organization. Currently a member of the Navy Reserves, she explains that during her four years of service from 1999 through 2003, she saw female service members put their boots on the ground and stand tall. I know plenty of women out there that are, can be in combat, that have been in combat and do as good, if not better, than the men. <laughs> Critics of the new policy, including retired U.S. Marine General Mike Myatt, express concerns about it. The average woman is not as strong as the average man, and we ha it's a very physical, physical environment. But Danker disagrees. My response would be, bah humbug, you know, you're crazy. Danker says women have been making their way into combat for decades, but, she explains, because their effort was not officially sanctioned, many had difficulty receiving disability benefits and receiving recognition and pay increases for their service. And now, she explains, this will change and those women will get their due. In the newsroom, I'm Justin Williams, Fox 6 News. I'm really glad you did that story because those of us like myself who have not served I had heard stories of women in combat and was wondering where the line was when it was official and when it wasn't. You really helped clear that up. Well, no problem. Happy to do it. Justin, thanks. UW Madison, speaking of veterans, the school's looking for veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan to take part in a new wellness study. The school's offering.